Greetings, peace be with you. So in this video, you are going to discover why dopamine detox does not work and what you should do instead to up level your productivity, focus and discipline in your life. Now, there has been this concept of dopamine detox. I have been made, making videos on this channel as well about how we schedule in a day scheduling in a couple of hours to just avoid and resist distraction during that time and somehow our dopamine reward system will begin to rewire itself so that we can more intensely bring our focus and attention to the work that we are here to do now the reason that dopamine detox doesn't work because it's kind of like you who are attempting to get in shape let's say right you're like, I have to switch up my diet, right? Like, you know that you are distracted from getting in shape. There's things that you're doing that aren't serving that. So you're like, I'm going to do one day of healthy eating a week. Will that help you get in shape? Well, obviously not, right? If you're eating like shit six days of the week and you're eating healthy for one day, that won't work out in the same way. If you are constantly distracted by your smartphone, by the internet, by the TV, whatever it is, five days a week, or six days a week and you do a dopamine detox one day a week do you think that that will help you rewire your brain well i definitely think that it's useful and helpful but i do not believe it is the most effective way to reclaim our energy focus discipline and willpower okay so what i suggest you do instead is rather than scheduling in times where you avoid anything right you're like yeah I mean, one day i'm not gonna do anything do this every single morning right when you have a notepad on your desk or whatever it is you schedule in the time that you were allowed to use your phone you schedule in the time that you were allowed to watch tv right so what this does is that if it's outside of that time you're like okay i'm only going to use my phone from 12 p.m to 1 p.m and 4 p.m to 5 p.m then you know that those are the only two hours that you are going to allow yourself to engage in that distraction okay because understand that we are always in one of two states right or maybe it's three, right? Either we are distracted, meaning that we are off the track from our goals, right? You have a vision, you know what you're capable of, you know what you want, right? If you don't, there's other videos on this channel that will help you get clear on what it is that you want. But let's imagine that you know what your goal is, you know what you need to do to stay on track, and if you are off that track, that is when you are distracted and there's so much stimulus out there that is specifically engineered and designed to get us off track, to get our attention towards something else, right? That is when you're distracted. Now, the other end of the spectrum is when we are in traction, meaning that we are on the path towards our goals, right? So the problem is not so much that you know, we engage in distraction, that's fine if it's scheduled, right? If you pre-commit to a time, that's fine. The problem is when we are constantly switching between tasks that are high stimuli, low value, for example, scrolling, right? There's so much stimuli over there, but it's not offering any value to you. For the most part, it's not offering any value to someone else, right? Versus low stimuli, high value activities, which is you focusing on creating that music. Maybe you're stuck there, you're pushing through. You might not be able to do it. Maybe it's you really writing that book. Maybe it's you writing that blog post or outlining a video, whatever it is. That's way harder. And what we need is focus, right? That is when we're on traction. And there's a story of Warren Buffett and Bill Gates at a dinner party and Bill Gates, his mom or dad, one of them asking them to write on a piece of paper, Bill, Warren, what is the one thing you believe to be the factor behind your success? And surprisingly enough, both of them wrote down the same thing, which is focus, right? Focus is the one thing that in this day and age, is lacking it's in deep scarcity because our attention has been hijacked and therefore we have an inability to focus for the most part but if you develop this muscle to really laser down on what allows you to stay on traction and you allow and you do that consistently over the long term then your results will be magnified compared to everyone else in your field okay so rather than choosing one day i'm going to dopamine detox figure out every single day what your schedule is going to be when you allow yourself to engage in watching that netflix right or you allow yourself to engage in scrolling 
right? When you allow yourself to engage in any distracting behavior, you pre-commit to it. Because yeah, you do get some benefit from it, right? And either you eliminate it completely, which is extreme, which is unlikely, which is very difficult, right? Or you schedule in that time beforehand so that you are unable to use it any other time and therefore you are building a habit rather than going on these extreme ends, rather than doing that one day of extreme diet and eating like shit for the rest of the days, right? You are consistently developing a practice that allows you to stay focused on your path and purpose, okay? Now, if you have been following this channel, you know that the Monk Mode Challenge is now open for enrollment, okay? This is all about ruthlessly eliminating distraction and getting laser focused on your path and purpose and vision in your life now if you are someone that knows the value of coming together in a community where we hold each other accountable where we hold each other to a higher standard and have a step-by-step -step roadmap so that we can eliminate the information overload because you've been watching the videos right you've been watching so many videos so much information you have been consuming and when there's so much information in our head is when we get overwhelmed and when we get overwhelmed is when we begin subconsciously seeking out distraction by going through the 30 days of monk mode challenge you will get laser focused because every single day is focused on implementation and we will be holding you accountable so that you actually follow through okay so you can open up a new tab in your browser window go to monkmodechallenge.com you can click the link below in the description if you are ready to transform your life okay but with all that being said i will leave you in the peace and power of the one infinite creator and i'll catch you in the next one much love to you Take care.